Hello everyone, welcome to Transformation TV. It is Erica Rogers, your ambassador for Christ. I've taken a couple of weeks off for vacation. We all need a vacation and I did, I was on vacation, so I didn't tell you guys, but I'm back here on Transformation TV and I want to tell you that a lot of you, I've, I've had an overwhelming, to me it's been overwhelming and I'm gracious and I give God, hallelujah, in Jesus name, all the glory responses to my supernatural debt cancellation video and before we get started today in the word of god i just want to let you know that i'm a woman of god and i believe everything the word of god says and today i'm going to talk about uh, mixing faith okay mixing faith and that's an interesting topic um, a lot of people want manifestation they pray for things and they're just like okay i'm waiting for it uh where is it but how many of you know that if you do not mix your faith with belief, it will not manifest for you? I just want to start off this session by giving God some honor and glory. I want to talk about this. I have another supernatural debt cancellation. This is Old Navy. So I've been confessing uh, debt cancellation again over this bill. And a couple more bills. And I just want to show you guys what the Lord has done. He is able to do it. And if he's able for me, he said in his word, he says, I am not a respecter of persons. And what does that mean? And like always, I will always put all the scripture right here in the box so that you can go and study and show yourself approved. When God says that I am not a respecter of persons, what he is saying there is if I did it for one, I'll do it for another. He is, however, is a respecter of faith. So I really have my expectation and I really have my faith out there. I believe the word of God and you have to stand long enough. You have to be patient and let patience have her perfect work. You have to stand long enough every single day, confessing and expecting that at any moment now, this debt is going to be canceled for me. And it's not because of me. It's not because anything that I do so perfect. It's because of all of what Jesus Christ did. And when he hung his head on the cross, the last three words he said was, it is finished. And he nailed my debt to the cross. Hallelujah. So, first, I think it would be good to show you guys this. You can see I owe them I had owed them $347.75. Okay. One Saturday, I told God, today is the day. He said, call them. I was going through cleaning out some mail and stuff. He said, call them. And I just follow the word of God. I hear the word of God. I know his voice. His, his word says that my sheep know my voice. So I do know God's voice and I do hear from God. Okay, he has had me prophesy to some people, and like I said, I hopefully um, one day they can come on Transformation TV and just tell you that. And it's not to give me glory, but it's to give my God glory and to let you know that the God that I believe in, and I told you it is God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit that is known as the Godhead. He is true, He is alive, He is well, and He is able. So you're going to see here where it says refund, refund. All of that money, they refunded it back to me. And in addition to refunding and canceling this debt to me after she was done, you're going to see here at the top. After she was done, she said, oh, my God, you have a uh, $23.38. She actually said it was $30 credit after they had done. And I said, that is God. Look what God has done. This is all the money they canceled on that card. And they said, we're going to do one better. We're going to call the credit card company, the uh, credit bureaus, and make sure that they erase anything negative off of your credit report. And she said, it may take up to 60 days, but it is done. And I just say, hallelujah, glory be to God. And this is just proof. You know, a lot of people, God said in his word, he said, a good, a good tree will bring forth good fruit. So if you're watching my program here, I want to let you know that I am a real woman of God because I have proof I bring forth good fruit. I have another big testimony um, about my marriage that I'm going to get my husband to come in maybe in a couple, maybe in a week or two weeks or so. Um, 
we're going to give you our testimony of how God restored our marriage. When I tell you that that thing was looking so dark that some days I could not see the end, but I stayed on the word of God and I confessed the word of God every day out of my mouth. I took the word of God and all I did was what he told me to do. And that was um, mix the word of God with faith, with faith. And that's exactly what I did. I mixed the word of God with faith. And he is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he a son of man that he has to repent. Um, if God said it, he is able to do it. And I'm happy to share those things with you. And with that being said, we're going to go into the word of God. And I first want to start off, I have my B-I-B-L-E. I hope that you have your B-I-B-L-E as well. I want to start in the book of Hebrew, chapter 4, verse 2. Okay. So, the book of Hebrew, and I have an Amplified Bible. Um, Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 2. Let's go to the word of God. And today's title is called Mixed with Faith. All right. Hebrews chapter, Hebrew, excuse me, chapter 4 verse 2 says and amplified, For indeed we have had the glad tidings, the gospel of God. That means the word of God. That means the word of God, the reading of the word of God proclaimed to us. Just as truly as they, who are they? He's talking about the Israelites of old did when the good news of deliverance from bondage, you know, God delivered them from Egypt, came to them. But the message they heard did not benefit them because it was not mixed with faith, with the Leaning of the entire personality on God and absolute trust and confidence in his power, wisdom, and goodness by those who heard it. Neither were they united in faith with the ones, Joshua and Caleb, who heard the word of God and did believe. So let me break that down for you. So you know the children of Egypt. The Israelites, they were delivered from Egypt, the children of Egypt. There was a children of Israel, not Egypt, excuse me. That's a correction. So God delivered them from bondage and God told them, I'm going to give you this land. And Joshua and Caleb, of course, they went over and they said, there's giants in the land, but we're well able to possess it. So what this verse is saying in Hebrew chapter four, verse two is saying, you hear the word of God like me. I'm preaching the word of God with you, but it will do you no good. It will not benefit you. Not one ounce if you do not mix it with faith. I mean, you got to mix it up with your faith, with your belief. Amen, somebody. That's all I'm doing. I'm taking the word of God and I'm believing. I have belief in, and belief in the word of God. I have faith in the word of God and I'm mixing it and I'm getting results. I'm getting manifestation. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm mixing it with faith. All right. What is faith? If you will turn in your Bibles and your B-I-B-L-E to Hebrew Chapter 11, verse 1. I'm reading from the Amplified. It says, Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see, and the conviction of their reality. Faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. Hmm. So that's what faith is. It's what you hope for. I was hoping for this debt of Old Navy to be supernaturally canceled. And so what did I do? I went into my Bible, my B-I-B-L-E. And I looked up a scripture. And I believe it's uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8. 
I'm going to double check that for you. It could be 2 Corinthians verse 8, um, um, chapter 8, verse 9. But I looked that scripture up and I have those words in my heart and it says, God is able, my God is able to make all grace abound towards me and I have sufficiency in all things. And I said, God, this ain't sufficient being late. This ain't sufficient. I counsel you. And then I looked in the word of God and it says that there was no name above the name of Jesus. And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow on the earth and over the earth. And I said, oh, Navy, your name, you got to bow your knee dead. This is not my will, but the word of God says that God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his service. I said, Lord, this is all this late. That's not a uh, prosperity. That's not your pleasure. And I took his word and I spoke his word and I spoke to the debt. I have power. I have authority. And it, it's been given to me and delegated to me. By Jesus Christ, because I'm in Christ Jesus. In order to be able to speak to things and to use the name of Jesus, you have to have a relationship with him. You have to get saved. Um, I talk about it all the time in Romans 10, 9 and 10. It says that we confess with our mouth and we believe in our heart that Jesus Christ is the son of God and that he died and God rose, rose him up from the dead. Three days later, and he rose up with all power in his hands. And if we confess Jesus Christ, then we will be saved. And our sins are washed away. He gives you a new outlook on life. You get you into a good Bible teaching church. Pray. You need to receive the Holy Spirit. That's a free gift. One of these days, we're going to talk about praying in tongues and just exactly what the Holy, what it is. Um, bless God. Hallelujah. And I just mix it with faith. Um, there's no magic to this. I don't deal with magic. I don't deal with luck. I deal with truth, which is the word of God. I deal with a surety. I have books and books and books of title deed of promises in the word of God, the Bible. And this is this is where I get it. This is where I, I get it from. This is how I live my life. This is not a game to me. I have a relationship with the Father. And I'm, I'm here to tell somebody today that he's no respect of persons. And if he canceled these debts for me, you can go back and look at the super. And that was over. That was more than a $7,000 debt he canceled. Then he came and he did this one. I have more that I'm working on. I also have some people who emailed me um, and I'll say hello. To, I won't call their name because they didn't give me permission, but I'm also lifting up their prayer requests and their debt to God for them and, and adding my faith with their faith because the Bible said as it is, as you believe, so will it be unto you. So if you ain't believing, it may not be unto you because you're not mixing your faith with belief. You got to mix the word of God that you're hearing with faith in order to manifest. The thing that you need, the debt cancellation you need, the healing that you need in your body, restoration that you need, anything that you need has already been prepared. It's in the spiritual realm. And all you're doing, you got to call those things that be not as though they were. You're calling it from one realm to another. It exists. It's there. It's just like... Um, I'll use Sam's Club, for example. When Sam's Club, if they need paper towel, um, they don't go and make paper towel, more paper towel when they need it. Like we need some right now. They call their warehouse and they always they, they have storage houses where they ship their bulk from. And they call over to the warehouse and say, hey, I want to put in an order for 4,700 or 47,000 racks of paper towels or pallets of paper towels. They say, sure, it's coming. But you know what? From the time they pick up their phone or they fill out an invoice to call, it's a it's a time. And they give them an estimated time. It's the same, it works the same way with the word of God. By the time you're in your prayer place and you're praying according to the word of God and you're calling those things that be not as though they were, don't you know that it's a time frame for it to get from the spiritual realm to the physical realm. And then if you go back and you look at, I talk about a mask and the evil spirits. We know that 
We do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but we wrestle with principalities in the darkness, right? So we already know that we're wrestling with evil forces. The Prince of Persia, he's trying to stop and delay your request. But you have the power in your mouth to say, devil, don't you touch my stuff coming down that pipeline. Devil, you take your hands off of everything coming down the pipeline in the spirit in the name of Jesus. I cover it in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. That's if you're in Christ. And so I encourage anyone and everyone today that's not in Christ to come get in Christ. What do you have to lose? What are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? You can't say, I'm going to clean myself up. I'm, first, I got to stop smoking or stop drinking or stop fornicating. No, that ain't your job. Your job is to make a full conscious decision in your mind and in your heart that I'm tired of this life. I don't want to die. I want my stuff. I want my manifestations. I am going to confess God. I'm going to open up his word. I'm going to read the B-I-B-L-E. Holy Spirit, you're going to give me understanding. Lord, I need you to lead me to the right church where I should be. And Holy Spirit, I invite you to come and live in me. And all the changes that I need to make in myself, that's not right. To, do the th to stop doing the things that I should not do or I don't want to do anymore. Holy Spirit, I'm going to fully rely on you to help me make that change. And you rest. Step back and you yield your body to the Holy Spirit. He's going to come in. He's going to make those changes in you like he promised to do until the day of Jesus Christ and all is well. So no more delaying. Raise your hands and repeat after me, our Father in heaven. I come to you in Jesus name and I confess and I repent that I am a sinner. I repent of all of my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he died for me and he rose the third day with all God he rose the third day with all power in his hands and Jesus is coming back again Lord come into my life and transform me Holy Spirit I yield all my bad habits to you I make a a, a, a transfer. I make a transition. I make a switch, Lord. I give you my dirt, my sin for your love and your grace and your forgiveness. In Jesus' name, I believe it. And I receive you now, Jesus, in my heart. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And that's it. You're saved. Email me, Madam or Sir. Let me help you on this walk. Okay, I never said it would be easy. Even Jesus said that we will have trouble. He said, but don't don't fret. I've delivered you out of them all. He also said that he was a very present help in the time of trouble. So you have a new life now. And I wanted to tell you that I love you and it's not a darn thing you can do about it. I look forward to um, seeing you guys next week right here on Transformation TV. Don't forget to send me an email here. Uh, TTC change at yahoo.com and remember this is Erica Rogers your ambassador for Christ saying that I love you and don't forget to mix your faith you have to mix the word of God with faith in order to get manifestation you gotta believe and mix it with faith because God is no respect of persons but he's a respecter of faith and I want to leave you with this when Abraham um, God promised him a son he did not, the Bible says that he did not, Abraham did not even consider the deadness of his own body or the deadness of Sarah's womb. He went in that tent. He um, made love with his wife and God produced a promise. When God gives you a promise, we are not responsible for making that promise come to pass. We are only re responsible for believing what God has told us. And not letting that word go until we see it come to pass. God is responsible for bringing it to pass. So take that weight off of you. Like, well, how I'm going to do it? How I'm going to make this manifest? No, we're not trying to cook up a miracle or cook up manifestation. We're going to rest. And we're going to believe the word of God. Your, your job is to believe and have faith in God. And to rest on his word. That if he said it, he is able to do it. 
I love you. And there's not a darn thing you can do about it. TTCChange at Yahoo.com is the email. Love you. Mm -hmm. Love you all. See you later.